Well, a couple of cool things. Uh, yesterday, the 26th of April, it rained a lot, which is kind of cool. Um, nothing really tempestuous, just uh, steady rain, some thunder, a uh, couple of couple of flashes of lightning. Uh, the juice did go out a little bit, and I hit 189 after having had several OMAD meals. That's one meal a day. Um, for example, yesterday I had four scrambled eggs, three um, rather thin slices of um, essentially um, ribeye steak, uh, but with, with a lot of fat on it on the trailing edge. Um, they like it here in Mexico that way. They like it pretty thin. I wouldn't say it's more than a centimeter thick, if that, less than a quarter, uh, less than ha uh, half an inch. And then I had a chunk of pork rib, which I'd made for everyone else. I just, I needed beef yesterday, but, but then that pork looked so good. So I took kind of a chunk of that. And then uh, there were chicken wings left, so I had... Uh, I had three chicken wings, whole chicken wings, so six wings. That would be six drumettes, six flats, and six tips. Um, and if that weren't enough, uh, I had ice cream with chocolate chips. Yeah, I make an ice cream now that's uh, per serving, I guess, 100 grams. It has about five and a quarter carbs. And the chocolate chips had probably several more, but since I'm only eating OMAD, and the rest of my food is void of carbohydrate. It's all meat and eggs. Um, it's really, really good. So, uh, I guess we're making a statement with our loud escape. Um, and the car that went by just it annoys me. I mean, the, their kids are, they look like hell. They don't, uh, they don't even take care of their kids yet. They spend all their money on cars. I don't know. That, that's your thing, man. Um, you want to be a dad like that? That's fine. I don't have any questions. I just don't want to pay for them, you know, in the form of taxes and whatnot. But uh, aside, a little, little hint into my, uh, my thought process, how I think the world should work uh, for what it's worth. And it ain't worth much. So uh, <clears throat> back on the diet. Um, so, you know, my, my friend told me, he said, Jesus, I, I don't know how you lose weight eating all that food, but I, I guess you do. It's like, yeah, and, and, and once you understand that it's the type of food, um, how does your body actually process the food? So the fat was used as energy, and if I didn't have enough, it went ahead and tapped into some more of my fat stores. But my body knows it's not starving because it does get to process food about once a, once a day, a full day. Um, and, uh, so that's, um, kind of what's, uh, what's been going on and, and it's been hot and, and the reason I'm pretty much omatting, um, even if I'm maybe hungry in the evening, I'm just, I don't want to eat at night because I know it's going to be hot. Oh, and I did update my sleep a little bit, um. For some reason, I, if I went to bed at 9, 9.30, I, I pop awake at 5, and I don't like to do that. So, I push that forward. Uh, Isabel and I were playing cards. We're playing a game called Konkian. Let me get this for you. It's actually a uh, Spanish deck. Uh, the one you're used to, I think they call it a French suited deck. Um, it's got ace through queen. And these cards, get them out of the box. All right, they have cups, and they have swords or spades. It's called a spade in Spanish, espada, a sword. Clubs, that's a club. They have coins, and then they have cups. And they only go from 1 through 12, but they skip cards 8 and 9. So the suit actually goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, jumps to 10, 11, and 12. There's a really cool rummy game invented in Mexico in the 19th century called Conquian. C-O-N-Q-U-I-A-N, Conquian. There's really no etymology for the word, 
but we play cards now instead of watch TV and eat. Um, cards is an, an active uh, thing. It's, it's actually good for the brain as well. I mean, think about it. And this game doesn't require, it's not like, like cribbage. Cribbage is kind of like, oh my God, um, I'm going to go out and I, I mean, it, it can get really exciting. But this game, eh, it's just kind of the luck of the draw. And it's like rummy. You make uh, runs and, and uh, three or four of a kind. Um, and uh, what I did is I took the fringe suit and I just pulled out. Uh, some people say to pull out the eights, nines, tens. But in keeping with the genre of these Spanish cards, there's no female, there's no queen. Um, the 11 card is a, a, what they call, a, they call it, it's akin to the jack, and then the 12 is the king. So uh, they number 40 <coughs> to the deck. So I, I uh, when I do the French suit cards, I go ace through seven. I pull the eight, nine, and I pull the queens. So it goes 10, and then jack and king. And um, that is imitative of the Spanish deck. So when I get to the Spanish deck, it's like I'm not looking for a queen, which I, which I always think is 12. All right. <clears throat> so, and then uh, I kind of popped awake this morning before my alarm again, like 7.02. And my alarm set for sunrise, which was about 7.20. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting up before sunrise, feeling great. No naps, just going straight through, especially after eating. And I eat a lot of food. Oh my God, I just eat till I'm stuffed. I probably eat for close to an hour. Just munch, 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 munch. And then my body says, you're done. And then I stop. And I'm still losing weight. <laughs> so uh, uh, milestone here, 189 pounds while healthy. I mean, I hit 189, I think, a month ago or something. But I had been coming off some stomach ailment of some kind. I probably ate something I shouldn't have. I'm over it, of course. Um, and uh, this is our still our, our week of vacation. Uh, and we did everything, so we're kind of just sitting here, like enjoying the fact that, you know, we, we took the first four days of vacation, just pounded through everything we had to do. Real busy, uh, full days, but now, you know, we get to relax a little bit. And uh, so uh, I'm going to be doing... Uh, Probably getting back to work on Monday, I'll probably start a 72-hour fast. Um, definitely 48. I'd like to give myself a, an ultra mad, you know, every other day. Uh, so I will, uh, I'll, I'll eat Sunday. I'll skip dinner Monday for sure. And uh, if I feel like it, I'll, I'll, I'll push through Tuesday. Um, and if I don't, I think 48 hours is enough. I'm, I'm actually kind of the weight I actually want to be. Um, and with my push-ups, by the way, I did 108 push-ups on Monday, which was kind of cool. And um, I do my push-ups tomorrow. So we'll see how that turns out. And uh, so that's kind of what's coming up. Yeah, it's, it's neat. I, I actually decide when I want to fast. Um, and... It's no big deal. I mean, just, you just don't eat a meal. Um, you know, maybe, if anything, maybe I'll eat a salad or something. But uh, it's an imitating, it's a fast imitation diet. But, nah, probably just, just not eat at all. I, I do like the feeling on the second day when you wake up and you sleep on that second day without eating. It's wonderful, really. Um, I, I feel euphoric. I feel full of energy, um, but I sleep really well. I know my stomach's completely empty. As a matter of fact, the whole, the whole drive train is just emptied out. Um, it's, it's really wonderful to give your body a break. So anyway, for those who can do it, I recommend it highly. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get through today and have a great one. And you guys have a great one. Be well. We'll talk soon. Bye.